Hi, Stu here from Analog XAI. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend. I've got the most amazing news to share with you today. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of gobsmacked, if I'm honest. Um, the word is goodbye BYOD, hello Genome. For those of you that don't know, Genome is a company, uh, is a piece of software developed by a company called Two Tones. Um, they have released uh, a piece of software that, um, for me, for an, from an analog XAI perspective, makes BYOD redundant. And um, uh, we're going to look at um, the new software. We're going to look at how, why it's, uh, what's different about it from from BYOD, how it's going to transform what, what, what you're going to hear. Um, I almost feel like we've gone from um, 1080p, if, we, if this was video, to 8K, 8K uh, ultra sharp definition and the difference is off the scale. Um, it's well documented that with the, with the tech being new and us, us having to utilize BYOD, there was this Kind of issue in the real, real low subs that would that would roll off on certain presets, and um, you know what what can I say really? It's just um, you know off the scale good. So what is all the fuss about? Okay, so let's go to a quick kind of track I'm working on. It's a little uh, tech house thing, and um, but it helps us demonstrate exactly what has changed. So let's have a look at the uh, the new genome software. And let's just have a quick look at, let's just turn that off on the master and then let's go to the kick track. And uh, so I've got an instance of BYOD loaded up. I've got an instance of Genome, the new software loaded up. Um, I have got the same profile loaded, the Culture Vulture 10 o'clock function T triode from the Culture Vulture pack loaded on the kick. And um, I've also got the same profile loaded within Genome. So let's have a quick look at Genome and see what all the fuss is about. A few things, when they first released it here, they didn't have the true stereo input. They only had the mono uh, left and right. Uh, I frivolously complained to the software developers uh, amongst a few other people and they, um, they delivered the update a couple of days ago and it is astounding. So what's going on? True stereo input, which is what we want. Um, we've got all these slots here. And what we're basically doing is we're clicking on this little plus button here and we're utilizing this codex. This is a specifically designed unit that uh, designed for professional audio and it will accept uh, the JSON file format, which is what we use here at Analog XAI. It will also accept the NAM format, uh, which there's lots of stuff around as well. And the sound is amazing, absolutely amazing. Few things just to, to kind of touch on. So you've got full over sampling here, all the way up to kind of seven uh, over seven hundred k. Three, so it's just off the scale. I I don't believe I need the over sampling. So I'm running this session at forty eight k, and um, yeah. So yeah, we've got the main input slider, main output slider. So for certain um, for certain profiles, if the gain, uh, remember we had. The, to gain uh, pots in BYOD. So same principle here, you're driving in, you're adjusting the output, but you also have additional input and output sliders there. Um, you can also add in, uh, you can also add in another, uh, another profile and another. So you could add in up to 10 profiles in a row, which again is, is amazing. No extra configuration. It's just set as you go. You can also um, click on this little button here and you could split that into uh, a parallel process. Uh, it's dead, dead easy to use. Okay. Um, saving of presets and preset management. That's so simple. So, so easy. Um, and I'll show that in a second. But what I'd kind of do is this is my default setup, and what I've done is kind of left it to the input neutral. If you select the others, it will it will uh, it will change uh, the frequency curve. So we don't want to do that. We want to leave it kind of untouched. Um, this will default as on. This tone stack thing would turn that off. Uh, the enhancer will default as on. We'll turn that off. The EQ defaults to on. We'll turn that off. I mean, we can utilize that um, as as well if if it, you know, and it does sound great. 
So um, in here we've got this, uh, so we could load under the preset just by clicking on the um, on the folder icon there, and it takes me straight into my kind of profile folders. I can select any profile I want. If that becomes a favorite of mine, I can just click on this little save button here, and you can see I can just save it in this preset list. And then, uh, so if I click in here, I can then just scroll if I've got 100 presets in there, I can just scroll through one after the other, find the profile, or I could simply just click in here, scroll down to it, and it's there. So, um, how about the sound? How does it sound, the most important bit? This is breathtaking, okay? So, um, let's listen to the kick drum uh, without, um, and let's bring span up just so we can see. I've set span up just to look at the real low lows so that we can kind of confirm what our ears are hearing. Um, so this is the kick drum uh, without any processing. Oops, that's the full, full track, sorry, this is the kick drum. And if you just look there, we're peaking at about minus six, so it's, it's a good gauge for level level adjusting. And you can see that the, the, the kind of, yeah, you can see the low lows there, uh, and you can see that shape. So we're gonna bring in uh, BYOD now. Without, with, without. So you can hear that, that it, although this it improves the sound and the, and the saturation is amazing, that there's just that real low low low, low roll off. And and for some for some stuff that's absolutely fine. But if you were to you just kind of wanted a little bit of saturation on the master bus or a group bus, you might not want to lose those real low lows. So. Um, so cute, cute genome. So let's listen without. So again, same preset loaded in here. I've uh, tried to match the amount of kind of saturation we've got going in um, so that the, the, the test is fair. So let's do without genome. Keep an eye on the on the low low end curve on span. And with. Without. with so what have we got now we've got all the deliciousness and amazing sound of the analog saturation and actually the analog saturation to me sounds just just more detailed more and we'll drive into that as well just so we can kind of kind of show that and we'll do it in BYOD and we'll do it in genome as well um, but what am I hearing? I'm hearing actually an increase in, in, in the subs because that's what's happening in, in the hardware unit and that's what we've sampled. So it wasn't the, the sampling process was broken. It was just that the, the host software, because the tech's so new, the host software that we had, um, there was something just going on, something not quite right in the way that, well, it was specifically designed for a guitar. So um, you can hear that quite clearly. Amazing, amazing difference. Here we go. Without. I'm going to switch to BYOD, back to Genome. BYOD. Genome. BYOD. Genome. Wow. Amazing. I'm absolutely blown away. We've been, uh, the, my, beta, my beta tester and I, we've been really, really kind of going to town on this for the last kind of few days now. And every single profile uh, is just amazing. It's just, it's almost like taking this veil away from, um, from, from what we had. And it's just um, brought everything out exactly as it should be. So um, we're going to prove prove the point again. So we're going to go into um, we're going to go in onto the master bus. We're just going to run the track for a sec. It's just a loop. Let's hear what it's doing. So we've, yeah, we've just got this track happening, and um, what we've got is just going to check. There's nothing on the instrument bus. Uh, the instruments, no, nothing there. That's great. So what we're going to do is we've got BYOD on the master. 
and we've got the Portico MPB preset 6, the Master Starter version 2 series 2 preset um, on there. And then we've got on Genome, we've got the exact same preset loaded, Portico M MP MVP 6. So there you go. And what you will find as well is that you don't need, especially on, on like the master bus, I'll be kind of looking to hit this at about minus 6 dB um, so that it's not coming into the profile too hot and it leaves you enough room to just kind of find the sweet spot. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play the BYOD. We're going to put a version of span on, um, on here on the master. So we've got the visibility of the kind of low lows. Uh, so we can see what's happening. And uh, let's hear the track with uh, without anything first. And then I'm going to engage BYOD. So we'll get BYOD up. And then we're going to engage that. see the additional low lows um, uh, are there but when we engage the plugin they're kind of just dropping away that little bit but enough to kind of lose that real kind of sub feel So let's uh, let's click over to Genome now, and I want you to listen now for we're gonna we're gonna do back and forth. But I want you to listen to just the overall kind of sound that's going on. If we go to the MVP pack uh, and we go to um, R&D MVP, saw that by name, and then we go down to the Rupert Neve stuff MVP, and then let's just have a look at the kind of uh, MBP6 and fantastic we're missing missing the uh, we're missing oh is it in here no we're missing the picture okay but uh, from memory I know that there's just there's a little bit of a push on on a little bit of saturation on the low lows it's a it's a bog standard master set up a little bit on the high highs um, and a, just a little bit of kind of master bus compression so that's what we're kind of working with here so um so we're going to uh do an on off with genome now and then just keep an eye on on the bottom end so without Rather me saying in 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 out in out all the time. I'm just going to run it for 30 seconds. And I'm just going to kind of you know close my eyes. I'm just going to flick it flick it on and off, and then I'm just listening to to what's going on. But we can clearly see with the genome plugin on again that we're not we're not losing any. In fact, we we're, we're gaining that uh, with with the processing that that's going through the MVP. So we're just going to play that through. I'm just going to flick it on and off, and then we'll go to a combination of comparing BYOD and genome. Um, here we go. I mean, I can hear, I can hear the the MVP compression. I can hear the saturation on the lows. I can hear the sparkling. There's a little bit of a lift on the highs, but but you can hear it's doing that Neve thing. It's doing that Rupert Neve um, master bus thing that is just so beautiful. Um, and uh, let's let's flip between the genome and the BYOD now on that same preset. <laughs> So 
So you can actually see and you can actually hear that there is the, the, the true replication of not only the low lows, not only the mid range, but also the high frequencies in there are absolutely perfect as we sample the device. Okay, so now you can hear what I'm saying when I'm saying we're going from a 1080p to an 8K ultra um, equivalent. Um, it sounds absolutely fabulous. So we'll flip between those for a, a last round and then we'll uh, we'll have an, a, another quick look at some more of the, uh, I think the mastering garden pack presets uh, running through Genome. So you can really hear in the true glory of the Analog X sound and uh, boy am I so excited. Let's do it. Turned on the wrong plug in, then sorry about that. Just double check that we haven't got the uh, sample, no, see, no sample rate correction filter on or anything. Um, so we can just hear that in all its glory. Amazing, amazing difference. And it's the exact same profile that we've not resampled the device. It's the exact same sampling uh, that we did originally for the Series 2. It's almost like Genome's taken us to Series 4 um, without changing any of them. You know, we've made all the changes, the customization of the code. We've, uh, we've done the sampler lining process, all the great stuff we said we we're going to do as part of Series 2 is in that profile. All, the only difference is, is that the, the host software that's allowing us to finally hear um, these uh, amazing analog sounds in their full glory. So let's get rid of BYD now. That's the last we're going to see of that. Um, the thing is, for Genome, I think there's a 14-day trial on it. And also, um, I think they're, they're doing some sort of 20% discount. Um, and um, so I think it's like... 80 euros so with a 20% discount you might you know 65 euros something like that but it would be that if you have lots of and there's lots of you out there that have bought probably nearly all the analog x um, portfolio of profiles this is a game changer an absolute game changer okay so let's have a look at some more of the uh some more of the master and you know i've got tons of master stuff but we're just going to look at the garden stuff today so let's have a little uh, look at some of those and see what that's going to do to our tech house track so at the moment we're we've got the portico uh, mbp6 master starter preset um, so i'm going to go into here and then obviously i've got all the garden ones uh, already some of the garden ones already preloaded into here so let's uh, let's see and let's have a play around and see what um see what we can get from this um I'm so excited, as, as you can tell, but, you know, like, even, I've not tested everything yet, but, like, the manly presets, my God, how they, um, the definition now of, of that manly tube sound, and, oh, it's just, it's off the scale, it's off the scale. So, let's go to, uh, let's try Masterless 2, and let's go back, click, play. <laughs> To, on, on the master piece, it's kind of like to maybe peeking around minus six, something like that feels good. <laughs> 